Hello and welcome to the grand final of season four of the Connections Online Quiz League. Before we start, I've had an email from a viewer. Dear Ian, it says, love the quiz, but I don't really enjoy the long rambling introduction at the beginning, so I'd like to fast forward through it. So could you make a gesture of some sort when the game is about to begin so that I can press play? Many thanks, VCM. Well, V, if I can call you that, I'm happy to oblige. When it's time to press play, I'll make this gesture. So fast forward away. Three months ago, 80 teams began their Connections Online Quiz League journey. For 12 weeks, they've been answering fiendish and mind-bending questions. What connects these four clues? If this is the first clue, what's the fourth clue? How do we unlock this grid? Why are there no vowels but only consonants? And of course, the question which has proven the hardest of all for many teams, would you like to go first or second? The standard has been incredibly high, as you'd expect, with a lineup of teams including mastermind champions, 15 to 1 champions, university challenge champions, chasers and eggheads, people who've beaten chasers and eggheads, people who've won series of something called Only Connect, and even at least one winner of Al Murray's Great British Pub Quiz. Hi, Dunkel. 12 weeks and a lot of quizzing later, 78 of those 80 teams have fallen by the wayside. And tonight, we have the final battle between the best of the best. On my left, no strangers to the final, hoping to convert their third appearance into their first win, are David, Ian and Hugh, Cardi B. On my right, a team in their first final. We have Michael, Liam and Michael, the Zoomsbury group. Who will win? I don't know, but I know that we will be engraving a new name into the trophy tonight. So, on with the quiz. And round one, what connects four apparently random clues? Cardi B, you won the toss, but you have put your opponents in first. So, Zoom's regroup, which of our emojis would you like first? Tradition dictates we will go the hedgehog, please. Yeah. All right. Here we go with the hedgehog. What connects these four random clues? You have a minute to tell me. And time starts now. Largest square rigged sailing ship ever launched. It's going to be a, it's just going to be a word oh, one, right? Yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Or something Grand ending in noise, presumably. What's the heraldic term for yellow Trump again? Or okay. horizon could be. A thing. I don't know. Um, no. I think we need to get Next, please. Uh, uh, golden horseshoe, isn't it? Yeah. Or something like that. And the it could be golden horizon. horizon. Golden horseshoe. Yeah, it's going to be golden. Yeah. Uh, That's a, yeah, Golden Horde will come up as well. And then, yeah, I yeah. I I like that. Let's go for Golden that. Horn, I guess, yeah. Liam, you're gonna give the answer, yeah? No, it's Golden sure. H O R, right? Yeah. Golden H O R. Oh, I'll do it if you want. Yeah, if you want. Okay. Um the part Sherman needs to be preceded by golden H O R to give is, the definition. Is absolutely right. Yes, we're looking for golden H O R. So yeah, golden horizon. Golden Horseshoe, and as you so correctly predicted, Golden Horn, the Inner to the Bosphorus, and the Golden Horde, Mongol Empire. Uh, so very well done, Zoom 3 Group, coming in after two clues, that's three points. Well done, guys. Uh, Cardi B, over to you. Uh, Ian, do you want to choose? Uh, go on then. Um, Trans Pride flag, please. Okay. What connects these four clues? Here comes the first. Looks sort of cryptic to me, but I don't know what it means. Does, doesn't it? Um, I wonder if it's an anagram of something. It could be a place name, couldn't it? Something food. But should we go next? Yeah. Next, please. Has it had? Oh, God, this is all sort of thing. I'm not going to be. Yeah, it certainly it. does, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> uh, I think we'd better go you? next, couldn't we? Um, next, please. Yeah. Oh, God, this is definitely... Oh, dear, yeah. Is that something, sir, in arms? No. Um, uh, oh, dear, oh, dear. Um, should we go next again? I would. Sorry. Next, please. Okay. Oh, so... so... Oh, God, it's just... Well, um, we... So if you repeat... It's just, like... it's just English, um, French and German, aren't they? <laughs> Sorry, uh, okay. The strong for Stark. We, yes, we are from De Von. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Very good. 
Very good. So English, French, and German equivalents for the same in English word. Absolutely right. They are all words. Really, words really good. Same. Well done. Well done. Yeah, yeah, same English, French, and German. Sort of... Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. As you said, yeah, from, de and from, as, at, and hat. Uh, yeah. I've got okay, to yes, so... yes, yes, but no further. So it's right. <laughs> you, you, you did. Uh, so coming out of the fourth clue, that is a point to Cardi B. Back to the Zoom group. Michael K. Okay. We'll go with the pretzel, please. Okay, the Twisted Snacks. What connects these four clues? Here is the first. You know it? I don't know. That sounds like something, from something we don't know. Is it Zardoz? Yep. I don't know. Don't you know saying what's right? Is it Zardoz? I've no idea what that is. I don't know. Do you want to go next, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Next, please. That's uh, the it from Five Children in it, but like. They could all be uh, it. You could have Pennywise. Yeah, but do we want that? Or yeah, kind of. They could I all be. So. We'll say they could all be known by a pronoun, it, and then narrow it down because you could have like Aisha for she. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You, that you sounds more like it. That, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So they're all just yeah. known by pronouns. Yeah. Michael, can yeah. you give the can you give the answer? Yeah. Sure. <coughs> so we think they are known by a pronoun. I think I'm going to need to hear something more specific than that, please. Is that um, definitely five children and thing? Yeah, that is it. Yeah. If so, yeah, okay. go for it. So we think they're all it. They are all it. You're absolutely right. Yes. Didn't need to see yeah. the third clue, which is a 1927 film starring Clara Bow. It girl. And as you guessed, yeah. Pennywise a clown. Well, uh, that... Good guess, guys. Good stuff. Well done. Uh, so again, two clues, three time. points. And Cardi B, over to you. Uh, Hugh, do you want to choose? The dinosaur, please. Okay. What connects these four clues? Here is the first. Oh. Uh, no idea who plays that. No, no, I don't either, to be honest. Should we, should we go next? Next, please. I'd have to. Annie Palmer. Annie Palmer? Is that, is that the, the sort of gangstery woman who... No, I don't know. No. no, I don't know. Should we go next again? Yeah. Next, please. That's uh, that's an Irish guy who was in the wire. Ethan Gillen. Yeah. Okay. Um. um... Uh, are other roles of people in um, Queer as Folk. Uh. Or the Wire. That's. Or the Wire. Who who from the Y would have been? I have no Annie idea. Palmer in EastEnders. I'm not yeah. sure. Should I we feel next? like we probably need. Oh, next, uh, uh, Idris Elba. Could he have been in EastEnders? He could have been Annie. Though, Annie, though, Annie could he? No, oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, next, please. Emma Fields. <laughs> so all, all their anagrams are four names of the actors: Aidan, Diana. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, Charlie? anagrams. All their four names are anagrams of the actors who play these characters. Of yeah, each other. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're absolutely right. We've called them dianograms. Well, <laughs> to, be, to be honest, when, when you said Aiden, I was wondering that, but I thought it was too left field, so I didn't say anything. But um... yeah, but yeah, you're absolutely right. So um, it was, it is the gangster woman from EastEnders, Nadia Sawala, and Adina Porter plays Chief Bills in American Horror Story. It, it, it's a different case from what I was thinking of, to be honest. But here. <laughs> but well spotted there by David at the end for yeah. a point. Seems to be group back to you. Yeah. Can we get the unicorn, please? Of course. Uh, what connects these four clues? Here is the first. No kiss. This could be X. Yeah, no, no X. Ox or something. Nox. No, it's not the ox. Uh, Nox, more likely, but... No, no we don't know, do we? No, no, be uh, no Bellion? Is there no No Bellion? No Bellion, yeah, it's 101. Yeah, 101. No, should we go next? I think we can. Yeah. That. Next, please. Perhaps cake. Maybe. Uh, we should know this. Perhaps. What other words for perhaps? Maybe. Cake. Well, no, it'll be like. You know, the words. The fourth answer is going to be like yes, something. Or... Mm -hmm. no, I, think we, I think we need another. Next, please. Yeah. Oh, da, 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 perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. It's just bands that have done ah, songs that are nice. the same three times. Okay. I'll Can't just say, yeah. yeah. Five seconds. Go for it. So, uh, 
if you repeat the first word three times, you get a song by the second word. Yeah, absolutely right. Yeah, songs with titles consisting of the same word three times, and the people who recorded them, you didn't need to see the last clue, which was Money by ABBA. Mm, right, done. Good afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, Cake, not the best known version of Perhaps, Perhaps, Perhaps. Um, Doris Day was rather more famous for that. But coming after three clues, that's two points. And the last question of the round goes to Cardi B. It will be the crab. Mm. And it will be the pictures because you yep. have not seen pictures yet. So what connects these four picture clues? Here comes the first. Is that a clover? Um, sure. <laughs> yeah, it looks... Oh. Trefoil, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Should we go next? What's Taradrius? I don't know. I've never heard the it's word. Taradrius. Oh, it's, I th Is that it a might Pokemon? be. Um, oh, it could be Plover. So it could be Clover and Plover. The Jones? picture could be Clover and the. Yeah, I okay. Should, should we go next? Yeah, I, yeah. Next, please. Try one more. That's a cartridge, partridge. Partridge. Okay, so. So it's chain. Replace the C, C with a P to, a to make a And you bird. get a, a bird with beginning of. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely work. So if you change uh, the C that the top image depicts to a P, uh, you get a bird um, with the scientific uh, name uh, below. You absolutely do. Yes, very well done. Very well spotted. Um, didn't need to very see. Nice. Yeah. Didn't help that I misheard what you had suggested for the first mm. one. Otherwise, I'd have suggested maybe go for it. Sorry. I, 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 I did hear it and I just thought, mm, <laughs> could it really be something so random? But, uh, oh, well, sorry, Hugh. I thought you said clover to lover rather than plover. So I thought ah. you were dropping a letter. So, cloth ears. Anyway, there we are. C's to P's, uh, all making birds. Absolutely right. So, coming in nice after one. two clues, that's three points, which means at the end of round one, Cardi B have five but the Zoom 3 group have the lead with eight. So round two, all I need you to tell me in this round is what comes fourth. Uh, Zoom 3 group, you get the first pick of the emoji again. It's going to be the hedgehog, isn't it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hedgehog. Uh, what would come fourth in the hedgehog sequence? Here is the first. Cumberland. Cumberland. What? I swear that's the thing. Well, Cumberland is the word. Okay. Yeah. You're thinking of Benedict Cumberland. No, I don't know. Um, Trace around. Trace uh, around the place, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't think we know. What well, that's higher than that. I don't know. Well, I mean, um, we know yeah. what Cumberland is, but like, we don't know what the sequence is. Do we see anything else? No. No. N next then, yeah? That's fine. Um, anything, guys? Meg Ryan, Ryan, something yeah. else? Yeah. Yeah. Really um, I'm not seeing anything here. This could be a thing. Anagram for yeah. yarn. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not no, I don't. I think, them, I think so we need another one. Yeah, next piece. Yeah. Wesley. <sighs> That's um, in Princess Bride. But like, yeah. What is he in Princess Bride? He's the hero. Um, Five seconds. Hmm. I don't know. Are we, are we just going to say whoever the princess is in that? Which is who Buttercup is that? That I don't remember. Yeah, may as well. Go on then, yeah. Right, fine. Buttercup. Uh, it's not Buttercup, I'm afraid, so I can pass it across to Cardi B for a possible bonus. Got anything, gentlemen? No. I have no idea what those are. Do you want to just name another Princess Bride character in case they were on the right ones? Or? Um, yeah, go on, name one. Inigo Montoya. Yeah. Inigo Montoya. Is the right answer. Oh, well, that's you. <laughs> Sorry, that guys. That was very unlucky. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> um, it is a Princess Bride question. These are the Dread Pirates Roberts in order. So mm. basically various p pirates take on the role and, and, and the title of Dread Pirate Roberts and use his reputation to intimidate their opponents until they retire and pass the title on to someone else. So Wesley, at the end of The Princess Bride, um, passes it on to Inigo Montoya. Well done, Hugh, but very <laughs> sorry, Zoom Spree Group. I don't feel altogether good about that. I feel, I, I feel about ashamed about for us. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but no, uh, so I'm still still point there. That we'll head uh, the point back. Uh, Cardi B, your own question. Uh, Transcribe flag, please. Okay. Uh, what we come forth in this sequence? Here is the first. Louis. Does, that, does that normally not have an E in it? Don't know, yeah. Um, don't know. I think we need to go next, so don't I we? I would have said so. But blush without... Blush, blush. remove the yeah. fourth one and get two... Fourth letter oh, yeah. and get two words meaning the same. 
described by shade of color. Yeah, sure. So should we go something one you can more? change the first, like make something you can take the first okay. letter of them. Well, Next, uh, please. Yeah. yeah, I think we're third. Me, mu. Okay, yeah, so they both be the that. same thing. Yeah. Right, all right. So, okay, so we need to come up with something you can take the first letter of. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, so, uh, uh, um, well, we could describe. We could do it. a Greek letter or something like zeta and eta. Yeah, okay, yeah, zeta, yeah. First zeta Greek letter. First, and, uh, and then below it, zeta colon Greek letter. Would be an entirely acceptable answer. So we've, 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 we've gone with uh, first opossum marsupial. But yeah, you're absolutely right that if you take out the numbered letter from the first word, you get another word that can mean the same thing. So very nice. Coming in after two clues, three points to Cardi B. And soon as we group, back to you. Liam, did you want to pick one? Uh, could we get the dinosaur this time, please? Here. Yeah. These are going to be picture clues. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here is the first. Hmm. Oh. I don't know where that, what that is. No, I don't know um, what that is. Not at all. Um, yeah. al aluminium. Alu. Uh, let's get another one of them. Yeah. Okay, next, please. That looks like a corner of Oxford Street. It's something, isn't it? But what's the... Oh, arts and literature, geography is in blue, so it's trivial pursuit. Right. Um, but what? Um, <laughs> could these be monopoly places? Like, but I don't see how we're getting a sequence. Know, of sure. know, that... brown, brown and blue. Well, what order, what order are the trivial pursuit things? And then is it just all camera right. and white? Uh, I'm gonna have to go next, guys, because we need to yeah. get uh, yeah next. Oh week. no, hold on. Um, on that. That it's it's mon it's monopoly things in that color, so like we need whatever the fourth color is okay. for <coughs> trivial pursuit. Do we know that? But I think oh, geography is first. Well, okay. No, hang well, on. You're just going. You're going around the monopoly. So it's orange. So it's yeah. oh. So what's what's orange? Was that sport? I can't remember. Sport. I think. Well, no, so, I think I'm it is. Push you for something, please. So yes. what S, 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 L. S, S L. and then a picture then of Marble Street. Street. Or Marble yeah. Street, whatever. Is absolutely right, yeah. Uh, we've gone with Bow Street, but yes, you, yeah, you're absolutely right. This is, this is Trivial Pursuit categories and That's Monopoly. That's why we couldn't find a sequence out of the Trivial Pursuit things. <laughs> yeah, because you're going around the Monopoly board exactly from, from the first set of properties, which is brown, through the light blue properties, which is geography, then <laughs> orange, okay. pink to the yeah. oranges. That's those meta questions. Nice. Uh, so two points there. And Cardi B, what would you like? Who went first? Was it you, Ian? So uh, I think so. Hugh's turn now, please. Uh, the pretzel, please. Of course. Uh, what would come forth in this sequence? Here comes the first. Oh, God. I think we have to go next, don't we? Yeah. I do, certainly. Next, please. Again. What's this? What oh, the... it's A, B, it's the alphabet. Is it? B, it's a, the letter B, C, from D, those. E, And so it's all F. the letters that aren't E's. Like a, B, C, D, E. So, do, so when you put in F's, you make F? Is that is that what's going on? Yeah, so it's um, so the it will be 10, 11, 12 with everything that's not an E asterisk. Is that right? Every letter that's not an E asterisk, is that right? Do you? I think that must be it, isn't it? No, every, every, le no, every letter. No, in what? everything that's not the letter itself. Sorry, everything. Yeah. So what yeah, is yeah. so E F so G H be... I J K L? Yeah. Yeah. So it'd be yeah. asterisk asterisk E asterisk. Okay. Like or... So what 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 would what would J be then? I mean, what word has J, J. and only E's in? J like. J okay. is just J, J isn't it? What? I mean, you pronounce J exactly. Oh, oh right, okay. Oh, so it's, it's 10 J A Y, yep. 11 K A. Oh, asterisk A Y, presumably. Why asterisk? Because the letter the itself out. is asterisk that. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. 10, 10 asterisk A Y, uh, 11 asterisk A Y, 12 E asterisk asterisk. Yeah. Is the right answer. Made heavy weather of that, didn't we? Right? Well, yeah, I think you. So, was, yeah, you're absolutely you, right. You, I think, probably could have <laughs> yeah, said it sorry, straight away you, if yeah, I hadn't yeah, tried you're to buy here, and I'm just. <laughs> so yeah, these are spelled, spelled yeah. out letters of the alphabet, um, right. but without their own, uh, without their own letter in them. So that's done without the asterisks. 
Uh, so that was two clues, so three points. Thank you. Back to the Zoomsbury group for the last choice of the season. Hi, who you choose? Mm, crap, please. Okay. What comes forth in this sequence? Here is the first. I don't know the ingredients of those. No idea. Um, no. no. Do you want to go next? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next, please. Oh, tamarind, tamarind. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Tamar is a type so, of soy sauce. So tamar. River separating Cornwall and Devon. Yeah. Go yeah. Go yeah. for it, mate. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, uh, river separating Cornwall and Devon. That's unlucky. It's river separating Devon and Cornwall. But yes, you're absolutely <laughs> right. Absolutely right. This is a chop from Tamarind down, taking one letter off each time. We wanted to see something that meant Tamar, which you gave me. So, three points to Zinsby Group. And the last question of the round goes to Cardi B. It will be the Horned Horse. What would, you, what would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Okay, well, that's the first Sherlock Holmes novel, isn't it? Um, is it? Sign of Four, isn't it? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what sign? Oh, I don't know. We better go next, then. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Next, please. Oh, so the... the hound oh, so the Study of Scarlet, the, the, yeah, so the Sign of Four, the Hound of the Baskervilles, and... Um, um, I'm thinking. Oh dear. <laughs> Do we know the last one? We might just. No. Have... No. It seems a bit um, just kind and. Should we go next? See whether we get any. Uh, I suppose. A study a study in. It's a study in Scarlet. A, a study in Scarlet. The hand of the basketballs. Yeah. I don't know what the fourth one is though. I think we'll no. have to go next, then, won't we? Next, Hope please. Yeah. Not the the, 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 the <laughs> okay. Okay. So the, the, um, it will read. A study in Scarlet, the sign of the four, the hound of the Baskervilles, the Valley of Fear. Is absolutely right. Yes. Um, yeah. Th these are Sherlock Holmes novels in order, um, revealing mm -hmm. an extra word going backwards each time. So what we wanted was the Valley all of four. Fear. Yeah, I, I just did as we said next. Uh, <laughs> it's sorry. useless at that point. I was worried the time was. Um, yeah, was no, no, out. we were. We were definitely getting. It was a bit of a gamble time. that they were going to give us Valley there. I think I'd have been struggling. Um, mm -hmm. uh, coming in after two, three clues. Sorry, that's two points, which means at the end of round two, Cardi B have fourteen, and the Zoom group have fifteen. No, thirteen. No writing. <laughs> Maybe. Try it. We'll take fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> you can edit that out, can't you? Right. <laughs> So Cardi B are the first to tackle round three, the grid, uh, 16 clues, which they have to separate into four groups of four. They've got three minutes to do that. Uh, once they found two groups, then they have three more guesses. If the time runs out or they use all their guesses, then the grid will lock. Uh, so Cardi B, if you're ready, um, your three minutes to solve the grid start now. Patience is busy, Lizzie, isn't it? Right, so we've got bouquet siblings, haven't we? Oh, yeah. Um, so it's Hi. Rose, Daisy, Sonson. Violet, is it? Violet's the fourth one. Yeah. Okay. Um, so have we got pop performers? We've got Saffron. Uh, maybe maybe not any female I'm pop names. Is songs, yeah. Is I'm it? No, well, we've already had a female Thor names link, haven't we? Okay, all right. Well, well, let's... Um... Blue Jasmine and Blue Orange. Uh, uh, orange Blue or something. Okay. No, blue. Leader Revolution, Orange Revolution. Oh, Saffron. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Jasmine, Orange, Carnation, Cedar, and Jasmine. Jasmine and Saffron. Oh, okay. So I've left Saffron oh, out. Saffron. I'll leave Cedar out. I'm just made that up. I'll leave Carnation out. Right, okay. So. Cyclamen, do we know that? Is that. Three lives now, I remember. Is that I, don't know, I don't know much about it. I feel um, like one of these surely has to be plant based, actually, don't you? Yeah, probably, yeah. Um, Hydrangea starts with Hydra. Are there any other? Um, is it? Um, I suppose. Um, lichen. Lichen carnation. Lichen feels out of place with the rest, doesn't it? it does a bit oh, unless it. Amaranth and lichen is used for. Um, oh, and amaranth yeah, is a so dye. Is a yeah. Sorry, sorry, I shouldn't have spoken over. Oh, it's a pH indicator. Yeah. Um, yeah. Amaranth is a dye. 
Um, is it? Orange Ranger is a pH indicator. Um, yeah. Is it impatience? Is that busy Lily? But it's busy Lizzie, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, busy Lizzie. Six I mean, do we think we've got four pH indicators? Oh, carnation can. Oh, no, that's not something else, isn't it? Um. Um. Let me. Oh, hang on. Orc imp. Oh, 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 orc. Yeah. Oh, uh, is that is that all we've got? One minute to go. The hydra's Hydra. Is that, um... Hydra. Hydra. Yeah. Yeah, why don't you select those three orcs? Okay. Imp, Hydra. Uh, Amara? I what... Well, I want well, you what Amara you think? I wonder whether she I was can... just it was just a sort of wild stab. I wouldn't necessarily Should we use one of our three? Yeah, we've got thirty five seconds left. Yeah, go on. Ah, pity. Yeah. Um thirty I, seconds. I mean it's difficult to can't can't sit claw. I just don't know. Maybe we're just barking up the wrong tree here. But... Fifteen seconds. Should I go Carnat? Up to you. We've not got much yeah. else. Uh, I have no idea. I can't see anything. Damn. Sorry. Hey, your lives are all gone and the grid has locked. But you found two groups, so you get two points for that, and you can get more points if you can tell me what the connection between the clues is. So the first group, Hyacinth, Rose, Daisy, and Violet. The bouquet siblings in Keeping Up Appearances. That's absolutely right, yes. And the next group, Saffron, Cedar, Orange, and Jasmine. Revolutions. Mm -hmm. uh, they are all revolutions, yes. Uh, and I can resolve the grid and give you a chance to get points for the groups you didn't find. So the so, next group, Lycan, Hydrangea, Impatience, and Orchid. Are we going with the pH thing? No, I think we're right. going with the, um, we begin with a... Oh, sorry, yes, we are, you're right. So no. they begin They begin with a sort of um, mythological creature, Hydra, Imp, Orc, Lee, yeah, maybe? Absolutely right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're, they're all Dungeons and Dragons monsters, but they're all, yeah, right, mythological okay. monsters. Right. Okay. A lich, a lich being a, a sort of undead skeletal thing. Ah, just when I've learned one thing about it. Uh, and the last group, Cyclamen, Incarnation, Amaranth, and Fuchsia. Let me just go with plants. Yeah, there we go. Or, or colours. I don't know. Pinks. I don't know. Oh, or, what is what plants here? Yeah. with plants? <laughs> I say the plants, to be honest. Look, I mean, all, all 16 of them are plants, so I'm going to give you another go. It's not plants. But I'll give you a free free go. Okay, so should we should we try colours then, do you think? Uh, a couple of them seem to be so yeah. Yeah. Plants, pink, plants yeah. that are shades of colour. Uh, I think something more specific, please. Shades of pink. Absolutely right. Yes. <laughs> Not all shades of pink. So that is two groups you found and all four connections. So that is a total of six points. So the Zoom Street group now get to face the same grid. Uh, so the same 16 clues to split into groups of four, and they have three minutes as well. And those three minutes start now. Uh, you got? You've got like lots of plants. They're all Saffron. plants. They're yeah. all plants. So, there's, there's, revol there's revolutions, I think. Jasmine, carnation, yeah. orange, and cedar. But leave those for now. And rose, I think, as well. Might have been one. Oh, yeah, yeah, potentially. Let's so. try hyacinth, and look for a word one. Hyacinth okay. is hyacinth bouquet off a TV show. So, like TV. Um, yeah, uh, Cluedo, maybe. That... Like oh. You've got Clue. women's names for sure. Like I don't know if that's too vague. Yeah. Daisy Violet. Yeah. Rose. Yeah. Jasmine probably... as well. Right. So let's Impatience Impatience is busy Lizzie, I think. Um Was there a Saffron Revolution somewhere? Could be. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah, good. Those are the revolutions. Uh, okay. right. orchid. Desert, desert orchid is something. Desert rose is that thing? I can't remember. Yeah, no. that is. That does sound like a something. Impatience. Well, okay. I'm a bit all over the show with cyclamen. I don't know what that is. Well, you've got. Um, hang on, you've got like monsters at the beginning of some of them. Hydra imp. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Orc, yeah leave, leave orc that for it. now. Yeah, leave it. Leave orc. it for now. Well, well, like, and then lick for lichen. So that's that's four. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, and then we've got three lives now. Well, well no, because we didn't know. Ooh. So you got. Well, I think I think we could have, but it doesn't matter. Like, let's just. Okay. Let's just well, we've got four. We've got four women's names for sure. Yeah. 
Yeah, so, so there's any way we can get a bit of time on high well, on, on future nation. So wait, you think the four names of these three and one which one? I feel well, like Hyacinth definitely, definitely is, is but, um, yeah. Okay. okay, so we just need to think. Clam clam is within cyclamen, so clam is a type of like muscle or something, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. I don't see I any others. One minute ago. Yeah. Is Fuch, Fuch, Fuchsia, is Fuchsia like German word or something? Amaranth. Well, Fox is German for fox, yeah, but like... Fox? I, yeah, you got you're got Antin, not, not Amaranth, Nation... Nation. Amar, Amar is a river. Amar is a river, right? Is it? I don't I, think I don't so. Know. Amar is a river. Amar, yeah. Car. At the well, no, Amar. Cycle. 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 Car. Um, Do we know anything about the plants themselves? That might help. Nah, okay. that's the problem, isn't it? That's the problem. Yeah, okay. They might be like <laughs> carnations. Um, may, I'll probably go hyacinth now, and then we'll, we'll bite the bullet on everything else. Yeah. Okay, cool. well, I'll leave you two to solve the yeah, last we'll go, go for it. Yeah, there we go. Oof. Okay, okay. You, okay. you two look at the last thing. Yeah. Okay. So four points straight away there, and more points if you can tell me the connections between the groups. So the first group, jasmine, saffron, orange, and cedar. Uh, so they are revolutions. They are indeed all revolutions. The next group, Hydrangea, Impatience, Orchid, and Lichen. So these begin with like, I don't know, mythical creatures? Yeah, just, no, no, it. like creatures, like baddies. Yeah, or whatever, I don't know. yeah exactly, exactly. They're, they're, they're monsters, they all, they all happen to be in Dungeons and Dragons, but they're all, okay. yeah, they're, they all have a mythical base. So yes, absolutely right. The next group, Daisy, Rose, Violet, and Hyacinth. Uh, they're women's names. I'm gonna need to hear something. I need something more specific than women's names here. Off oh, I'd, I'd probably just go like TV off TV shows. There's yeah. women's names in TV shows. And I need more specific even than that. Just are we just gonna try keeping up appearances or what? Like, okay. Yeah. Well sitcoms. are we or not? Sitcoms. Just say sitcoms. sitcoms well, we've yeah. said sitcoms already. Sitcoms. No, we said oh. TV shows, right? Okay, sitcoms. And again, I, it's I'm, okay. I'm, I'm I'm gonna have to say no. It's very specific that they are they are the four sisters, the bucket sisters in keeping up appearances. Okay, fine. So right, okay. Uh, and the last group, cyclamen, carnation, amaranth, and fuchsia. All I've got is that they might be like shades of red or just shades of the same colour. Yeah. yeah. Well, carnation, I think, is red, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. they're all shades of the same colour. Uh, and what colour would that be? Red. Red. It's not or red. Pink, pink. Okay, well, yeah, pink, pink. Yeah, that's fine. The okay. same thing, right? Yeah, that's fine. I'll give you pink. Uh, so that is all four groups found, but only three connections. So that is a total of seven points. Before we play the final round, a few words of thanks. Firstly, thanks to all the question setters to provide 12 weeks of consistently high quality, challenging, and often downright ingenious questions is a massive feat, and they are amazing. A particular thank you to Rob Hanna, the question editor not only for his work on the questions, but also for his weekly host briefing video, particularly the one with the picture of Simon the Starling. A huge thank you as well to Will Jones, who created the platform on which we play the game. He's constantly tweaking it and improving it with tiny changes that make it smoother and easier to use. And he's also, of course, responsible for recording, editing and uploading all of our games of the week. Thanks as always to John Stitcher, the man behind the whole connections machine. And on behalf of John and on behalf of the players, thank you so, so much to my incredible colleagues all of you, all of you do such an amazing job hosting the games. Team Host is a brilliant family to be part of. And yet again, I've loved playing the host games and all the group banter. Special thanks here to Dave Bill as well for all the hard work he does allocating games to hosts. But the biggest word of thanks of all has to go to all of the players. As hosts, we often share a little match report with each other after a game. And what connects almost all of these reports this season has not just been what a talented bunch you all are, but what lovely, lovely people you are and how much fun both the teams and the hosts have had in almost all of the games this season. So thank you. It's been an amazingly enjoyable season and I'm really sad that it's now all over. But, 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 but it's not all over because with the scores at Cardi B 20 and the Zoomsbury Group 20, we go into round four, the only consonants round. Good luck. Uh, so, yeah, good luck everyone. A point for a correct answer, a point off for a wrong answer. And remember, I have to accept the first thing I hear after I call out the team name. So best of luck. Uh, for those of you watching at home, the scores will not change uh, but until the end of the round. So you won't be able to see who's won until the end. So your first group of only consonants are 
two 10 letter words that are anagrams of one another separated by an and. Good luck, here's your first. Uh, Excitation and intoxicate. Is correct. Very well, good. Very well done. And the next. <coughs> Cardi. Antagonist and stagnation. Is right. And the third. <coughs> Susbury. Impressive and permissive. Is correct. And the last one. Shrewsbury. Iridescent and indiscreet. Is correct. Jesus. So your next group are all people name checked in bare naked ladies one week. Uh, here's the first. Shrewsbury. Leanne Rhymes. It is Leanne Rhymes. And the next. <coughs> Cardi. Sorry. Sorry? Sorry? Akira Kurosawa. Is absolutely right, yes. Oh, well done. <laughs> and the next. <coughs> Zoom to me. Aquaman. It is Aquaman. And finally, <coughs> Sunsbury. Bert Camfort. Bert Camfort is right. The next group are all red sports teams. Here is the first. <coughs> Cardi. Boston Red Sox. Boston Red Sox is right. And the next. <coughs> Cardi. Scarlets. Welsh rugby team. Scarlets. And the next. Zoom three. Alabama Crimson Tide. Is right. And finally. Oh, oh I'm out. Scoot area Toro Rosso. It is. Uh. Yes. Mm. And your last set of four are all quotations with the head, shoulders, knees, toes, transplant. Here is your first. <coughs> Cardi. If you can keep your shoulders when all, all about you are losing theirs. Is the right answer. And the next. <coughs> Zoom three. If I have seen further, it is by standing on the knees of giants. Okay. Here's the right answer. And the third. That seems free. I'd rather die on my feet than live on my toes. Is the right answer. And the final question of the quiz. You know, this is the pobble who has no who has no head had once as many as we. Right. Sensation, William. At brilliant, the brilliant. end of the quiz after round four, Cardi B finished with twenty five, but uh, but finishing with twenty nine. The new champions of the connection yeah, online quiz are the Zoom oh, Fantastic, absolutely yeah. superb. Yeah. Congratulations, both teams. Some fantastic answers there. Excellent quizzing. Um, and thank you all for watching. Thanks, Ian. Keep an eye on Facebook for news about next season. But just before I go, <laughs> you can press play now. Good night. <laughs> bye bye. Well done. Yeah, well, game, guys. Thanks, everyone. Well done, guys. That was, well done, uh, was superbly and brilliant.